scripture points out various dimensions of faith. And since eight is the number of new beginnings, I'll list eight of them here. Number one, Romans 4 and 19 references weak faith. The word means to be feeble and without strength, powerless, needy, or sick. Second, Matthew 16 and 8, it refers to little faith trusting too little. And this is when we are really struggling with doubt. Number three, we find in 2 Corinthians 10 and 15, referring to increasing faith. This represents a dimension of faith where growth, growth excuse me, is evident. Number four, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 3, it refers to exceedingly growing faith. Paul commended the Thessalonians for their growing faith. He used the word in the Greek language that means to grow beyond measure. And the Bible tells us that God has given each of us a measure of faith. He expects that we mature from that measure to greater measure of faith, such as rich faith. James chapter 2 verse 5 uh, uh, comments on rich faith referring to abounding in resources or abundantly supplied or abounding in virtues and possessions. This dimension of faith abounds in the wealth of the kingdom of God. Romans 4 and 20 refers to strong faith. Abraham, known as the father of faith, had this kind of faith. The word means to be endued with strength and this level of faith has endurance. In Luke chapter 7, verse 9, and Matthew chapter 8, verses 10, it records great faith. Two people in scripture were uh, commended for great faith. One was a Roman centurion and the other was a Syrophoenician woman. They both impressed Jesus with their level of faith on behalf of another. Now, there are two dimensions of great faith. The first refers to great quantity. The second is greatness in intensity, stature, authority, and power. Number eight, we find in James chapter two, verse 22, referring to perfect faith. The apostle James described perfect faith as belonging to one who is a doer of the word and exercises faith to change. It means to complete something or to carry through thoroughly, to bring to an end, to accomplish and fulfill. 